Hello, everybody. I'm Matteo, and now I welcome you here in my little RC garage to get a closer look on the G Made Boom TC, the ultimate trail truck. The two letters TC in the name typify the specific chassis. T stands for TTR transmission, the opposite turning drive shafts to eliminate torque twist, and C stands for cantilever suspension. Later in the video I'll show you the key features of this truck. But as first, let's take off the body. The body holds on the chassis with two pins in front and at the rear with these two pivots. Very simple and effective. The front part of the body is made in polycarbonate, comes clear and have to be painted. On the body are some chrome-plated plastic parts for better details. The front grille is made in hard plastic, equipped with light buckets and prepared for an easy LED lights installation. Also the side mirrors and door handles are made in hard plastic to improve the scale look. The driver figure is not included in the kit. I used the 4x4 vehicle driver figure from Tamiya. Glue it on a perforated aluminum sheet and fix it on the inside of the body with strong adhesive tape. The rear end of the body is a tube cage made in plastic. And here on this holder a spare tire can be installed, but this extra wheel is not included in the kit. For me, a good looking trail truck. Of course, not a licensed replica of a full-size truck, but it has some charm for me. Let's go again on the trails and come back later to have a closer look on the chassis. Welcome back! Now let's check the chassis. It's the GSO2 chassis. It comes as kit. This means everything has to be assembled. But this is not a big deal. A very good build manual is included and everything is very well explained. Every build step shows all parts and screws and illustrations visualizing how the parts should be put together. Also some warnings helps to prevent mistakes. All the different screws are packed separately in bags and are marked with their specific dimensions. This helps a lot to find the correct screws. 
The truck is fully equipped with ball bearings and the gears in the axles are made in metal. Also the other internal gears in the sealed gearbox are all made in metal. Only the spur gear is made in plastic and equipped with an adjustable slipper clutch. The electronics are not included in the chassis kit. To complete the model it needs a motor, ESC, steering servo and a radio. I used in mind the Xeron X brushless combo from Hobbywing. I've already reviewed this system. To see this review you can find the link in the video description. The receiver is installed in this sealed box and so protected against water and dirt. The battery compartment is located in front beside the motor and steering servo. This helps to keep the white in front and this is good for climbing steep trails. I use a 3 cell 4000 mA LiPo battery. But it can be easily installed also a 2S LiPo or 7.4V nickel metal hybrid battery. The steering servo is installed on the chassis and this pan hard bar helps to provide a stable and pressy steering, even on rough terrain. I installed a waterproof crawler servo from PowerHD. The steering angle is very big and provides good agility on the trails. Steel Universals allows a smooth move, even with these big steering angles. From underneath you can see the 4-link suspension at the rear and the 3-link suspension in front. All links are made in solid aluminium and are very strong. The diff on the axle have an angle. The diff cover is a bit sloopy upwards and this helps to protect the diff cover and the screws when touching stones and rocks. And now we can see here one of the key features of this truck, the cantilever rear suspension. In this setup the dampers are installed horizontally and connected to the axle via joint arms. This provides a big travel range of the rear axle. Another advantage is to save space and keep the rear end flat. As you can see the flex is very good and this suspension works perfect. All dampers are filled with oil and the cylinders are well built in aluminum. The spring preload can be adjusted with a ring on the top and so the suspension is easily adjustable for different situations. Overall, the suspension with the stock damper setup works very smooth and soft. Something good in my opinion. The tires have a soft sticky compound and a good looking and working profile. The wheels are made in plastic and are not beadlocks. It means the tires have to be glued on with super glue. Now let's have a look on the TTR transmission. As you can see the rear drive shaft turns counterclockwise and the front drive shaft clockwise. This different turning direction should minimize torque twist. Does it really work? Here I'm going to test this. As you can see the suspension is soft and normally the result is a big torque twist in fast acceleration. Now I give full throttle and you can see nearly no torque twist. So this TTR transmission really works. But now let's go again on the trails.
For me, this Chimate Boom is a very good scale crawler. It has some new innovations like the TTR transmission and the rear cantilever suspension who really works. And the quality of the parts is very good and everything fits well together. If you are looking for the ultimate trail truck, you should keep an eye on it. So if you like it, this information, please give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my channel if you not already have. Thanks for watching and see you next time.